What's up guys, I'm Relic and I haven't done a top 5 in a long ass time But here we are, I'm coming at you with my top 5 Sinnoh Pokemon So before I start this guys, I wanted to apologize for not bringing you a top 5 in so long And I also wanted to say that this list is of course 100% based on my opinion So if you disagree with any of the Pokemon I put on this list Be sure to comment down your own top 5 Sinnoh Pokemon And don't forget to also leave a like since it's gonna be greatly appreciated Notice that before I start this list, starters and legendary are not going to be included as I will be making a top 5 about them towards the end of the series. Starting off this countdown, in the number 5 spot, we have Yan Mega. It is such an awesome Pokemon you get in 4th gen, and honestly, Game Freak did a nice job evolving it from Yanma. Since it can access a variety of moves and has an awesome ability, which is Speed Boost, I would love a Yan Mega competitively since it can use Bug Buzz to counter Substitute, it can protect and get a Speed Boost at the beginning of the battle, and... Just, Yan Mega is that Pokemon you don't want to underestimate, and that's what made me choose Yan Mega for this number 5 spot. Making it to the number 4 spot, we have Honchkrow. Also known as the Big Boss Pokemon, he is one of the few flying types I love, and his dual type, which is Dark, is also one of my favorite types. Design-wise, Honchkrow looks decent in my opinion, and I feel it can access so much moves that can deal unexpected damage to his opponent, such as Heat Wave and Icy Wind. Come on, a bird with Icy Wind? What is this? Honchkrow can deal some unexpected damage, which also can make it one of the most appealing design-wise Pokemon, also competitively, and that is why he's on the number 4 spot on this list. Number 3 on this list is Magmortar. Growing up, I've liked Elekid and Electabuzz over Magby and Magmar, which can be a little bit confusing and surprising for a little bit of you guys, since most of you can be wondering why is Electivire not on this list since you like it more than Magmortar's pre-evolution. Though I like the pre-evolutions of Electivire, in my opinion, Electivire is still cool and strong as Magmortar, but after trying one out myself and seeing what damage it dealt to my Pokemon in the Diamond Randomizer, Magmortar managed to make me a little bit likable over Electivire, you can say easily since its OP design and amazing moveset can be a big threat competitively which made Magmortar save his spot in this top 5. Getting its deserved Mega Evolution and a Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire in the number 2 spot, we have Glade. Probably most of you expected Glade on this list since he's such an OP Pokemon. And fun fact for some of you people watching this video, Glade is one of my favorite Pokemon. Being able to use moves like Psycho Cut, Leave Blade, Close Combat, no doubt this Pokemon is a threat. And let's not talk about the amazing design. To be honest, I've seen its Mega Evolution, I kinda expected more. But it is still cool because it gains the ability Inner Focus which can stop those pesky flinches and maybe we wouldn't catch a bunch of Iron Heads. In the number one spot we have Luxray. Indeed Luxray is by far, hands down, one of the most powerful and beast design wise Pokemon to catch at the beginning of the game. Starting is a cute little freaking shinx to a mighty Luxray, it has gained my respect and my love, it is so cute and it turns into a mighty beast at the end, using it competitively. So, to all you people out there, Guts, Toxic, or Facade on Luxray is a thing. And that is why Luxray is the number one and my favorite Pokemon in Sinnoh. So thank you all guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that comeback of top five. I know I haven't done that in over two or three months, and I really apologize about it. I really didn't have the time to put that much work, much, much effort into a uh, video. Uh, not meaning I don't put much work into my other videos. It's just this takes some extra more work and extra more time, which is just like needs me to kind of just sit down for like five or three four hours to just put this all together since it takes a lot of editing I know I've been changing these sidebars a lot which I'm coming into with an explanation for you guys basically uh, this is kind of season one of top five the layout will not change until I am done with my top five legendary Pokemon until then the layout is not changing nothing is changing basically and um season two is gonna have to take a rest I'm gonna give it like a one month rest and then bring it back after we're done cuz uh, ending a season is not really um 
kind of just you guys just like I'm like hey guys I just finished season one let me just bring the other one in like two days it doesn't really work that way but if you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like uh, I know that each top five has been getting uh, a crazy amount of support I don't know my last top five got over 50 or 60 likes so I don't know how much this might get I'm gonna be extremely surprised if I really get a really high amount of number but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to vote down in the comment section if you want to do the last two regions, either top five Unova Pokemon or the top five Kalos Pokemon in the comment section below. So with that said, guys, I will see you all next time.